I've heard about a lot of confusion over unit application 2-2 and steps 4 through 7 nesting the functions. So we're going to do a quick demonstration here of those steps. Starting in cell E4, we're going to start an if function. We'll click the insert function box and if, OK. Then the very next thing we do is to nest an AND function. So we go up here to the name box, find AND. If it doesn't show up, click more functions at the bottom of this box. Now our function box is changed to AND. And in the logical one box, we're going to click D4 and then key greater than or equal to 5. Move to the logical 2 box, click D4, and key less than equal to 10. All right, then step 4 finishes by telling you this AND function tests if a customer is between 5 and 10 years old. This could trip you up, but when step 5 says to return to the IF function, Come up to the formula bar and notice the part that's bold and the part is not. Click anywhere inside the if function, the if word there. It becomes bold and the function box returns to the if argument. So now for value if true, we're going to key between 5 and 10 and that then explains that if the results of the AND function are true, this statement will be shown. Now move to the value if false box and we're going to nest another if function. Come up to the name box, click if. Now we have another if argument. Notice what is happening up here in the formula bar. For the logical test, we're going to nest another AND. So back up here we go. And now we're told what to type for logical 1, D4 greater than or equal to 1. And then for logical 2, D4 is less than 5. Now we're told to return to the second IF function. That means come up here in this box and all the way over to this IF function right here and click anywhere there. That brings us back here to the if function argument and we're going to key between 1 and 4 for the value if true and then for the value if false we're going to key over 10. Click OK. Now we have completed step 7 and you can see our complete formula up here in the formula bar. It has worked on April Smith here in the first box. So then we're told to go ahead and format the results to match the labels in the row and then copy the formula with the fill handle all the way down the column. Then follow the other formatting instructions there to widen the column and set the left indent for one for those cells. I think if you have any difficulty with these steps, you back up and play this over again. It should walk you through it. Uh, good luck, and I'll see you Monday or Tuesday.